Thank you for that interview, Trajan. Now let's head back to elementary where we interviewed some elementary students. Hi, my name is Dawson Otto, and I'm here with Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. How are you? Good. Did you go to the fair this weekend? Yes. What did you do? Road rides. Did you do anything else? Not really. How's school going? Good. What are you learning? I don't know. Nothing? Back to you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Amanda Holzel, and I'm with Brecken Waldner. Hi, Brecken. How are you? Good. How's school going? Good. Did you go to the fair? Yes. How was that? Like, what did you get to do? Mm, we watched the band, magic show, and guys do flips on a trampoline and stuff. Sounds like you had a pretty exciting weekend. Back to you. Hi, I'm Peyton Ellis. I'm here with Devin Enander. Hi, Devin. How are you doing? Good. 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 What grade are you in? Fourth. How's school going? Good. What are you doing today? I don't know. You don't know? Uh, did you go to the fair this weekend? Yeah. What would you do there? Stuff. Like what kind of stuff? Like you go on rides and stuff? Yeah, we got, I don't know. You like don't know? We, we got um, cotton candy. Cotton candy, that's good. Cotton candy is good. So uh, how's football going? You're in elementary football, how's that going? Good. Good. What are you playing? Huh? What are you going to play in there? Like what, running back? I have no idea. You have no idea? You're pretty fast though, so you should be playing that. All right. Back to you. Now to Trajan Flea with her interview with Mr. Kreckelberg. Hi, I'm Trajan Flea, and I'm here with Mr. Kreckelberg. Um, so how do you like the new school so far? Uh, it's great. I've never been in a school this size, uh, so it's definitely an interesting dynamic to kind of get a hold of, but I'm, I'm excited every single day I come in. How do you like your students? They, oh, they're a handful. I'm just joking. They're awesome. All of them, I think. I see the excitement that they have in music, and that makes me very excited, too. What are you looking forward to in the future of your career here? Oh, man, I'm really looking forward to the pep band playing at uh, various sports throughout the year, and I'm also very much looking forward to the high school choir. They sound phenomenal right now, and they only have, sorry, they only have growth ahead of them. So. Well, thank you, and hope good luck to you. Back to you. Now, over to Amanda Holzel, where she interviewed Mr. Nelson. Hi, I'm Amanda Holzel, and I'm with Mr. Nelson. Hi, Mr. Nelson. How was the football game last week? Um, you know, I thought the boys played really hard. Um, they played a physical game. Uh, but, you know, the outcome wasn't what we wanted. We, we lost. But uh, it was a good building experience for our team, and we're just looking forward to this week. How's next week or this week looking? Uh, we play Sully Buttes. They're a good football team, but you know we're a good team as well. We're going to step up to the challenge and uh, and hopefully come out with a victory on Friday night. Well, I wish you guys good luck. Back to you. Welcome back, Patriots. I'm Peyton Nelson. I'm Amanda Holson. Welcome back to HGTV, where we tell you what's up. So let's jump right into the calendar for this week. Uh, today, September seventh, Friday, schools in session. There's also a football game tonight versus Sully Buttes here in Tulare. And it's also Lane Puffer's birthday today. On Saturday, there's ACT test going on, and there's a tournament for volleyball at Clark Willow Lake, and junior high football at Warner, and Casey Stoner's birthday. Uh, the 9th, Sunday, is Riley Flea's birthday. On uh, the 10th, on Monday, there's cross country at Webster. The 11th, Tuesday, there's junior high volleyball versus Aberdeen Christian, followed by uh, bar JV and varsity volleyball and against Aberdeen Christian. There's also Rangel Luther's birthday and Camry Hopman's birthday. The 12th, on Wednesday, there's FFA at Bristol. And 13th, there's FFA at the Smith. There's elementary football versus Redfield. It's Kale Weiner's birthday, and there's also junior high volleyball and varsity volleyball versus High Moore Herald. So now we have some stats from all the sports that have been going on. Um, <clears throat> last week, the girls, volleyball girls, took on the James Wilde Christian Vikings, doing 3 0, 25 12, 25 22, and 25 18. Offensively, the Patriots are led by Elizabeth Solomon with six kills and Dawson Otto with five. Katie Enander is sitting on 17. 
Dana Pearson served up five aces and Kennedy Enander added four. Defensively, Kennedy Enander had eight digs and Trajan Flea dug up six. For cross country, girls varsity, uh, Jessica Godfrey got six and Cambry McNeil got 11. For boys varsity, Logan got eighth, Zach Gilbert got 16th, Colin McNeil got 17th, Cody Wright got 21st, and Titus Waldner got 22nd. For boys JV, Brandon Cole got third, Mason Bottom got seventh, and Jed Waldner got 11th. For girls JV, Danielle Knoll got fourth. Boys Junior High, we did not have anybody run. And then girls Junior High, we had Kinsey Vanderwolf with 11th. Last Friday, the Patriots took on the Warner Monarchs here in Tula in football action. The Patriots fell to the number 39A Warner Monarchs 36 to six. Offensively, the Patriots are led by Grant Hamilton with 19 rushes for 100 yards. Ty Hofer carried the ball 21 times for 90 yards and a touchdown. Ty Hofer also had a catch for 18 yards from Grant Hamilton. Defensively, Ty Hofer led the Patriots with 13 tackles. Grant Hamilton and Clyde McNeil accounted for 7.5 tackles each. And Peyton Nelson sacked the quarterback two times. Now let's head over to our interviews up in the elementary with Trajan Flea interviewing Mr. Hop. Hi, I'm Trajan Flea, and I'm here with Coach Chop. So, um, Coach Chop, how was the game last night? We went up to Flockton. Um, we didn't play our best volleyball, obviously. Um, we got nailed around pretty good in the second set. Um, the other two sets went a little bit better. Um, again, comes down to uh, missing serves, um, just some rallies that were, you know, we, we served two, three times in a row, then all of a sudden the other team goes five, six times in a row, and we can't have that happen. Um, defensively, we have to get better. Um, so how do you think the Wolsey game will go this week? Uh, Wolsey Weston's always a big matchup for our girls. Um, they're, you know, obviously one of the top teams in, in the conference, and I think it should be a good matchup. Um, just starting to watch a little film on them. Um, they have a couple decent hitters that we're going to have to play, get some blocks up on them and see if we can shut them down, serve aggressive at them, get them out of the system. So how are your feelings on the Clark tournament this weekend? Well, we got a good pool for the Clark tournament. we got to take advantage of it. We have uh, Webster and Lake Preston right away in the morning. Um, both teams are, you know, should suit us fairly well. They're not very strong, as what I hear so far. But um, we got to come. we got to be ready to play because I think we could do very well over there. But uh, like I said, we have to be ready to play in the morning, and we have to come with great attitudes and, and work hard, and hopefully things should fall our way, hopefully. Thank you. Back to you. <laughs> and finally, Peyton. let's take it over to Peyton, where he interviewed our new student. All right, this is Peyton Nelson. I'm here with Cole Schroeder. So how are you liking it here so far, buddy? I'm liking it a lot. You came from Redfro, right? Yeah. Uh, what grade are you in? I'm in eighth grade now. Uh, what do you like about it here so far? I like it because everybody's nicer here, and it's just a nice place to be. Uh, how, how are you liking football this year? It's a really good program. I think it's way better than Redfields, and they, do, they work really hard. Everything is better than Redfields. Back to you.